Hello, Derek Jones here with a hatchet fish. Two, actually. Quite common in Nova Scotia now. They grow to be very large and very old. That one's about half grown. That one's a few years old. Or a few decades old, a few centuries. Deep sea fish are very, very long lived. Nice tail on the hatchet fish. Slimy as a pattern, as a scales, spikes in the middle of these plates. And the fish feel uh, the skin feels like mackerel. Very large mouth, very large eye. Mouth opens up very, very large. And I found these on the wharf at Nova Scotia, Canada, July 2015. So, so I don't have any video of Nova Scotia hatchet fish. So here it is. And 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 look here. It swallows something very large. Very large, you can feel it. All that there. Uh, maybe do an autopsy. See what's in it. Who knows? Can you guess what's in the hatchet fish stomach? Stay tuned. Coming up next, hatchet fish autopsy. Should be good. Here I am ready, ready to go in. I'll cut along there. A lot of horns and a lot of plates there. Yeah, I'll see what's in there. Everything going along nicely. Uh oh, for a bone there. So, we cut there instead. I don't think it's edible. Air bladder there. I don't know if the hatchet fish has been eaten. I suppose I'll have to Google it and find out. Looks pretty good. There's his stomach there. I can see something in there. Uh, 
There you go. Silver Hake. Silver Hake. He was chasing Silver Hake when it was caught. Jeez, how'd he ever wolf that down? No. There you go, ladies. More topsy results. Swallowed a silver hake. Who was caught in the trawl. There you go. Silver hake. Hmm, quite fresh too, actually. Well, I know they're good. Yep, well, thanks for tuning in. Next time, bye-bye.